begin tonight with breaking news and the future of the state's largest school district, HISD. Yeah, tonight, interim superintendent Granita Lathan learns she will not be named as the sole finalist for HISD's top job. So the word interim isn't going away from her title. Channel 2's Keith Garvin, a member of our education team, live at district headquarters tonight with what's next. Keith? Dominique, Chris, the meeting continues right now as trustees are in closed session, but it's been a pretty dramatic night with strong debate on both sides from parents as well as trustees. But in the end, if Dr. Lathan is going to get the job permanently, she's going to have to wait a little longer. Three in favor, six against. The question was, would she or would she not? And the answer was no. HISD interim superintendent Dr. Granita Lathan will remain in the interim role. This after the Board of Trustees voted Thursday to not make her a sole finalist for the job. And I urge trustees to move forward with a search for a permanent superintendent. Well, over 100 people signed up to speak at Thursday night's meeting held virtually. Dr. Lathan herself in attendance to learn her fate. And there was a mix of strong opinions on both sides of the motion. Some against. She's the leader of our district, yet she has failed and continues to fail an entire subsection of students that she's responsible for educating. And almost as many in support. We should not pass up the opportunity to solidify this proven and passionate leader. Earlier in the day, the Houston NAACP preemptively sent out a statement also in support of Lathan being named the sole finalist. Vice President Dr. James Dixon cited what he called Lathan's ability to work with others and provide stability. It's time that HIZ understands to the need for stable leadership. Changing just to change without change being necessary based on merit is unwise. But in the end, the trustees voted against making Lathan the sole finalist, only to vote minutes later to continue their nationwide search. If Dr. Lathan is named as the lone finalist at the end of that process, I will support it. And in addition to voting to continue their nationwide search for a superintendent, the Board of Trustees let it be known that Dr. Lathan is free to reapply for the position. Reporting live from Northwest Houston, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Keith.